What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, like two weeks since I last made a video, but that's because uh, I was waiting on this to come out, and um, I think I got this early. Uh, this is actually the hobby boxes of Stadium Club Chrome, not the blaster boxes, which you've seen a lot of people ripping on uh, YouTube over the last couple of days, because those apparently got out earlier on the East Coast. I haven't seen any over here in Oregon. Probably will see them this week. It's supposed to officially launch on April 5th, but I was able to get a couple of these a couple days early. This is not April Fool's joke. And uh, we're going to go ahead and rip in this. We're doing two boxes, but I'll, I'll split them up into two videos. So we'll do the top box first. And uh, yeah, let me just say, this is probably one of my favorite sets. Um, I mean, it's known for its photography. I know a lot of folks, this is one of the sets they look forward to the most. This is supposed to be out in November. That's how far behind we were. It's got delayed multiple times. And it is, I think, the second to last 2022 product coming out with our J-Rod and, um, and uh, Bobby Witt rookies. We've got the last product, I believe, is the uh, Platinum Anniversary coming out at the end of April. So we're going to be four months into the year and we're still going to get one more 2022 product but uh state club chrome also has a very special place in my heart because for those that have been with the channel for a while that's where we got this the infamous three in the morning stadium club 2020 uh one rip and uh pulled that uh fernando superfractor um and uh that's actually the video on my on my channel it's like the trailer video or whatever um because of what an awesome hit that was and still is the uh, biggest, you know, it's a one of one, but I mean, to get a one on one of Tatis even before the uh, ringworm nonsense was a pretty big deal. It's still one of my favorite cards. And on top of that, it gemmed PSA 10. So let's take a quick look here. Um, a little different this year. They did add, well, number one, this used to be hobby only. So they made it now. Um, obviously retail, because you've seen the um, blaster boxes being ripped. But they also added... Um, it's not a very parallel heavy set, but they added this year... It used to be just gold, orange, red, and I think maybe at one point white, pearl, unless that was in regular chrome, um, or regular stadium club. But they added this year the blue refractors to 199 and green to 99 So... We're looking for one on-card auto. It's an 87 um, person checklist. Obviously got the big names on it, but a bunch of bunch of clutter as well. So we're hoping to get um, one of the big names, one of the big rookies. So again, it's all about the photography and stadium club. Uh, we're looking at the QC here. We'll see how that's going. Chrome has been a problem this year for all of us that know. Um, you do get at least one insert or parallel per pack. And um, it's supposed to be 14 inserts, yeah, because it's 14 packs. And um, you know, maybe we'll get uh, maybe we'll get a couple numbered cards. I did see, I think only two people B and B cards. Shout out to them, new channel I've been watching. I need to subscribe to them. You should go check them out too. I'll link them in the in the um, in the description. And then uh, Casey cards also ripped one earlier today, and he got seven numbered cards in there, something like that. Crazy. So I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Here's one of the inserts, Beam Team. Very different design than last year. Not sure about that one, but uh, it might grow on me. So we got our in first insert there. And let's just start going through this a little faster. But yeah, Stadium Club is meant to be all about the photography. Some pretty interesting shots you'll see here that you don't really see in other products. I did see a... I think I saw... A, card of Ichiro pitching. There's one of uh, um, Pujols pitching. There's a Siri rookie card. We got a rookie team of the future there. Another insert, Shane Baz. And on some of these, they are refractors in these. Not so far. There's an insert there. Luke Voigt. Kirby Puckett. And you get a nice mix of the old school vets and a little weird there with the curving of the cards there probably because these have been sitting in a warehouse for 
God knows how long. Actually, that reminds me of something real quick. I know people were saying that you could see how long these cards have been sitting when you look at the no purchase necessary date. Okay, there we go. So in this case, June 28th, so that's still pretty recent. I know like on Gold Label, which just came out a couple weeks ago, the no purchase necessary was like back in December. So it was literally three months before it came out. The deadline had already passed. So, um, Lizardo, Bruhan, Yepes, that is going to be a refractor. Oh, okay. And there's our auto. We got Bruhan on the auto to 99. So there you could see the green that's new for this year, 74.99. So not the Tampa Bay prospect we would like. And this, it usually is kind of funny when you get the scene double in the same pack of that player. So auto on card to 99. It's a rookie. We've seen a lot of Bruhan. He's the, he's, he's the troll of the uh, autos, right, for, uh, for Tampa Bay. So we'll go ahead and put him up on a stand back here. So that's going to be numbered to 99. So that's good to see that. We're getting some numbered autos, and I think this Yepes is just a refractor. Yep, so there's a regular refractor. I don't know how many of these we get per box, so we'll keep an eye on the refractors. And again, the curve on these, I'm not too worried about that. They'll flatten out once they're in the top loader, but it is kind of annoying when you're trying to stack them. So, okay, well, now that the auto is out of the way, now we're looking for just parallels. There are some image variations. Um, the 1991, we got something in here maybe, and that's just another insert. Contreras, Kyle Tucker on the insert. Mitch Hanniger, now Giant. Happy opening day, by the way. I was hoping, originally, that's an, that's an interesting Babe Ruth. Again, right, you're not going to see cards like that in most products. Um... Yeah, I was hoping that this would have come out before opening day or for opening day, but that's why there's been not a ton of new videos lately, because I was really waiting on this. We do have a PSA submission video coming soon, which is going to be huge, over 100 cards. That's some big, big cards in there, too. Um, Corbin Burns, Bundy, that's a nice Griffey Jr. on the Dynasty. Alec Thomas, Sonny Gray, and Craig Biggio. So we're hoping to get a Julio. He's got a pretty cool card in here. These are not the same pictures as regular Stadium Club. Um, oh, that's cool. Dave Stewart going for the old Nolan Ryan look. We all remember that card from Upper Deck. Unless old timers do, at least. Spencer Strider. Even though that does feel like the same card from regular stadium club because I got an auto of his and that looks like the exact same card. And there's that pool holes card I was talking about in pitching. I'm pretty sure that was the game against the Giants. Um, I'm remembering that game very clearly. Torkelson here on the beam team as well. Jackie Robinson and Castro. That's not numbered. So I'm not getting anywhere near the numbered cards that Casey was pulling out of his box. That was very surprising. Number of parallels. We did get something in here, though. So it's a little thicker. You can see from there. Right in the middle. It's a green. So you got Robbie Ray, Hassan Kim. Oh, there's a nice shot of Willie Mays. We'll come back to the green in a minute. Robin Yount. Is that a purple? No. It's an Emmanuel Class A. And behind Willie, we got... It's going to be George Brett. Oh, Salvi Perez on the bubble gum to 99. So that's nice. I mean, I do like the fact that we're getting a little bit more color out of Stadium Club. I mean, it is a nice product. doesn't hold as much value as, you know, regular Chrome or um, some of the other flagship products. But it's definitely got a special spot in a lot of our collector's hearts, I'm sure, because um, it's been around since, what, 91? And uh, it's just got a bunch of cool stuff. And here we have another one of these new inserts. These, uh, okay, that's cool. These are the um, 
uh, trophy hunters. So I don't think that's a parallel. I think it's just a base. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. Wouldn't that be crazy to get another Super Fractor Tatis card out of Chrome? Just kind of expected, I mean, at this point. Hendrix, Dawson, and Glass. Glass now. Again, looking just to make sure these aren't parallels, because. And I'll blame you, Casey. You got me thinking every one of these cars could be a parallel after watching your rip. Maybe box number two will have more. There we got another parallel in there. So, and this is a 100 card, 100 additional checklist from the uh, regular stadium club. Javi Baez, Josh Lowe. Which one of these is the parallel? The one in the back. Okay. So we got Akil Badu on the refractor, and he's hiding behind St. Louis. Oh, we got a bonus auto. How about that? I'll take that. So we got Akil Badu on the refractor, and then we got Juan Yepes on the base. On the base, uh, base of no, it's not a refractor. It's just a base card. So okay. Did not expect that at all. So I got my own hot box and I got two autos. We got one numbered auto and one regular one. So maybe there's something a little different about Stadium Club this year. Maybe because it was a numbered card and that counted. So, all right. I'm excited about that. Still got five more packs to go. Let's see if we can get... Maybe another numbered card out of this. Definitely still want a Julio and a Bobby Witt. MJ Melendez, it's a nice looking card. Was hoping to find at least one or two cards out of this set to send in the PSA. Maybe those autos might be it. Louis Roberts, again on the beam team. Pudge, is that a refractor? No, I'm gonna have to go through these and see where I might be missing some parallels. Jake Berger and Gilbert. All right, last four packs here. And again, stay tuned. We'll do box number two right after this. So we'll have that uploaded the day after you see this one. Or the same day if you are not watching the day it came out. <laughs> Vladdy Daddy. Bobby Dahlbeck. Another refractor here. We got Vladdy Baby. All okay, right, so we got Daddy and Junior on the refractor. Giolito and Piazza. And at least keep track of the refractors here. All right. Last three. Got the bonus auto. We had one more numbered card, so we're hoping maybe we can sneak one more out of here. Boba Shit. Bueller. Team of the Future, Jazz Insert, Eloy Jimenez, Josiah Gray, and Hunter Renfro. So still no Julio, still no Bobby. It's a 400 card checklist and we're only getting, you know, 84 cards in here. So you got about a 1 in 4 chance of getting those players. Hendrix, Big Unit. CJ Crone, refractor back here of Ahmed Rosario. That's a blue. So that's a blue to 199. See, so yeah, it's sneaking up on me too. So keep an eye out on for these. 199. So we got three numbered cards so far. Unless I missed some other ones. And what else do we got here? DeGrom. And Barry Larkin. And last card here. Last pack. We got Greg Dickman. Dickman? <laughs> Great picture there. Ponto Rivas. And then the last refractor. Gosh, it's a San Diego box. Treasure Hunters. Soto. That looks like it's white. Is that numbered? No. Interesting. It looks like the white background. It reminded me of the pearl, but the pearl, I think, was a parallel only in um, 
regular regular stadium club. It was one of the rare chrome cards you had in there. <laughs> Grandal. That's funny. Otto Lopez and the infamous Otto Ottos. We avoided that today. And Stanton. So, no refractors there. I'm sure I missed one, but let's look at what we found so far. So, our insert should have had 14 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Really? Huh. Okay. So, we got shorted on the inserts. On the refractors, we had two refractors, two numbered refractors. So the Salvi 299 and then the Rosario to 199. And then we did get two on card autos, which was not expected. We did get the Vidal out of 99. And then we got the Yepes as a bonus. So I'm guessing this was intended to be the regular on card auto. And then we just happened to get a numbered, ver a numbered parallel. So, or an auto parallel. So, not too bad. On that front, oh, sorry, got a FaceTime call in the middle of uh, making the video, and uh, always put your phone in airplane mode, folks. Um, so, anyways, like I was saying, we had uh, we did get the two autographs, so that was a bonus for sure. And um, yeah, again, for a hundred and oh, I didn't mention yeah, the hundred and thirty, hundred and forty bucks, kind of what these are going for. Really good deal for the cards you're getting. Good quality. I didn't see a couple surface scratches, but I mean. These typically do really well, other than a little bit of a warping, but again, that'll be fixed up in a top loader. So, anyways, folks, hope you like that preview. Come back again tomorrow for the next box, and um, let me know what you think. You're going to be picking up some. Did you, did you manage to get some early? Let me know. If you have a video posted, send me your link. Love to check it out and see how our box is compared. Other than that, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Come back, back. Come on back for box number two. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.